Well, this is my ultrasonic device. This is said to be 20 millimeters diameter. I think they mean the inside sort of ring part because the outside is near enough 22 with this rubber sort of silicon, I'm going to call it a boot on. Um, when you plug it in, this just is plugged in a USB port on my computer. It comes, it comes on turned off if you can understand that so when you plug it in it's turned off and you have to press the switch to turn it on now what I found if you look at my other video is that this has to be just touching the water at the bottom for it to create a mist there's a very tiny hole in here I doubt if you can see it you might just see it there There might be more than one hole actually, there might be a few holes, sometimes I do have patterns of holes. So what I've done, I've been printing out some of these, this was first iteration, which was, well, so-so, and then I made it deeper, because it was going a bit, then I thought, oh, I'll make it the area bigger, because that'll give more displacement, and this goes down in the water. It does, the water's about a quarter of the way up in this inside hole here. But it floats reasonably well. I mean I can push on that quite a bit. And float back up. And this will fit in here. Just about right snugly. So the idea here oops and I can get back out shake some of the water off I'll be careful to keep the water off the electronics here just push this in and I can press that in and it grips okay so I can press it in to or oh, there is a bit of a a bit of a sort of indent there for the wires which is obviously better See, I've only pushed that about halfway. I'm going to try that first. Just put it in the water. Press the button. And there we are. Obviously, the wires could be a lot longer. You can see. Well, you can see this, like, mist coming out there. It produces an awful lot of mist for the size. But the idea here is, as... Because in a way it's pumping water out from the bottom up through here and into this mist. Oh, it's stopped now. So it's just getting it adjusted right. Let me try pressing the button again because sometimes this button I think can be a bit... Push it down just a tiny bit more. So it's getting the, the height just about right. It's a bit finicky. A bit more yet. I'm trying to keep it reasonably level. Doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think. Or I don't know if I've got water on this board actually. Let me check the board. So this is just an old towel I use for odd jobs. Sometimes just to wipe my hands on. Uh, there we are. Be careful. One problem here is the wires are very short on this electronic device. That is steaming. I'll put my hand here because I think you can see a bit better. And it's very cold, I can feel it on my hand cold. Um, the idea is that as it pumps the water out here, it's obviously going, the water level is going to go down, but because this is floating on the water, it will stay, the level of the piece of crystal, I think they're using here, will continue to stay the same height, basically. Could do with a lot longer wires. This is only f five volts, so going out there a lot. 
This is only 5 volts off a USB port on my computer in this case, so you can use a, a wall wart. I'll leave that going a bit. I don't want too much moisture in here because I have my 3D printer FDM type in here and humidity is not good with plastic resins. I mean that's pumped up moisture right up here. Easy, you can see that on my hand probably getting knocked down. Just got some stuff for the grandchild when he comes round. I can fan that. So you can see see that 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 is an awful lot of moisture from this little device here. A lot of humidity. Very fine mist. Now it's stopped again. So is this going to... Aye. See, because it's a bit damp in it. Let me uh, get a pencil or pen. I'm push, going to push this up from the bottom. Sometimes I hear a bit of a noise, like the other Sonics. There's just enough moisture. The moisture just, well, the water level wants to be just touching the bottom. Nuisance is that the switch has to be like toggled in a way, on or off. I don't know to be honest. You're better off buying a, a ready made thing than doing this like this. I wanted this for something totally different. I won't talk about that because it's obviously not going to work using this. It just hasn't got the power, the vibration sort of energy in this device that I would want. See that that is steaming. What I'm going to call it steaming. It's very much like cold steam. It looks like steam, like a kettle boiling quite vigorously. Now let's see if it goes off again. See if it turns itself off. If it does, then it's pointless. Or it needs a bit tweaking or something. I should time. I should time it really, because it is possible there's a, is a timer chip in the electronics. Because obviously the electronics only switches on once you press the button. Then it'll, if you, you unplug it or something, it'll turn off and it'll stop off until you press the button again. So it probably is a uh, microprocessor may be on board and that might be actually producing the pulses for this ultrasonic device here. I don't know if I'm... There, it's just gone off now. It's just turned itself off. So let me turn it off. Okay, it's, it's stopped. That's off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the button on it get both in yet. Now I'm going to leave it a few seconds, a few moments without trying to knock this. I mean it's virtually impossible not to move it at all because of the shortness of the wires are going to move it. And press it again. Yeah it did come on for slight well just the initial pulse in a way. It's too much mucking about. I've 
actually dropped it in there uh, so that's implying that it does want to go down a little bit using the edge of the boil point pen to push round Excuse me, I don't think it's the yeah, moisture doing that. I've been sneezing. And you're on. I mean, if, if water can leak out that way, then surely air can come up the other way. So I don't think it's, it's this diving bell idea. That air might be getting trapped underneath it. Push it right down to the bottom. Make sure it's empty. Pushing it back up again. Push it up a bit right higher. It's about halfway. So level it off a bit. I don't think it has to be totally level. Forget it. So the idea was that this would float on the water and as the water pumped up this would obviously go down. But that's not going to work. Just shine this big torch onto it <laughs> and that makes it appear like it's really shooting out like some sort of a ray. Especially if I hold it right. Just like it's an LED, quite a powerful. Um, what is it says? I think it says Ultra Fire or Cree XML T6. Obviously you could use coloured water, coloured lights, a bit of perfume in the water. Don't know if you can see the moisture on there. You can see the clouds. Now, I'm a conning myself, it does seem to be going on a bit longer. Sorry, I'm getting in the shadow here. Turn over this light a little bit. Um, long bomb video. Without leaving it for many hours. I wouldn't know, but then if I turn it off now, turn it back on, that stopped. Not blown on the top, no, let's turn it off. Give it a second or two, turn it back on. So the idea of, no, I just heard the noise there, dropping it in from a small height. Just start up, then it stops. No, forget it.
Internet.